Hello, my name's Trevor. I'm one of the area managers for Scotland for BG Products. Today we are at Mac Motorsport in Dundee, where Marchin has been kind enough to let us use his four-wheel drive Roland Road, which is brand new, to show the advantages of BG Products in your car. Today we are going to be doing a couple of runs with an Audi A3 diesel. We are about to perform initial power runs on an Audi A3 2 litre TDI with 147,000 miles on the clock and a service light showing. Introducing Russ Payton as he disappears into the bowels of the earth about to secure the car on the dyno. We are recording exhaust data of this vehicle with a 5 gas analyzer. This is made by Brain B, part of Mali. This vehicle has a full service history and has therefore had regular oil changes. Let's see what we start off with. We conducted three power runs and took the best result out of the three as a baseline. Ross Payton, a successful motorsport competitor, is responsible for developing bespoke power maps in-house here at Mac Motorsport. Okay, Carl, here we are with a 2 litre diesel Audi A3. What are we doing today? What we're going to do is the BG GPF clean, which is using the BG 9300. Um, basically, what that is for is to clean the intake, we'll clean the, the engine chamber, the combustion chamber, and it will also clean the exhaust track. You can use it by operating the actuator on the turbo to help remove deposit around the turbo vanes, but it's specifically designed for targeting the DPF and eliminating the deposit buildup in the DPF which causes the back pressure. Okay, let's have a go. What we are about to perform on this car is a complete engine clean and DPF clean. The products we are about to use are BG's DPF Emissions System Restorer, 245 Fuel Additive, EPR or Engine Performance Restorer, DOC, Diesel Oil Conditioner, along with the 9300 BG DPF tool. A global diagnostic scan is performed to identify any vehicle faults. We connect a manometer as a comparison to the ECU displayed live data values. These values represent the differential pressure within the particulate filter. EPR is added to the old oil to clean everywhere that the oil is going around your engine. EPR is heat activated and therefore in effect holds any contaminants in suspension. 245 then goes into the tank which helps keep your fuel injectors, piston tops and valves clean and free of carbon. DPF fluid then goes into the 9300 which is connected via the intake. The fluid goes in under pressure as a vapour. We turn on the heater which preheats this fluid. Engine vacuum is created via a restrictor. The particulate filter calculated soot mask and exhaust gas temperatures are monitored via a diagnostic computer. As it's starting to get dark and the geese are flying south for winter, it's time to head inside to complete the remaining steps. As you can see here, we make sure that as much oil as possible is drained. This ensures all harmful carbon and sludge buildups in your oil is removed. The diesel oil conditioner is added with the new oil. We will compile another video at a later date showing the advantages of DOC.
After completing the service, we test run the car, then it's back to the dyno for our final results. We will perform three runs again and take the best value from the three to act as a comparison. Let's ignore that fat lad standing in the background. Psst, that's me. Now we're here going to discuss the results with Ross Payton and with Connor Kerr. Yeah. Can we go through the results please, Ross? Okay. Uh, yeah, linear improvement right across the rev range, um, significantly in torque. Uh, percentages, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's clear there in the numbers. Um, and for it to show a linear improvement right across the rev range, then there's no doubt that there is an improvement everywhere. Obviously, if it had been peaky or small improvements in different areas, it would have been less clear, but it's, it's very clear. So as a straightforward service from BG, would you say that their advantages in this would result in a fuel save as well as a power increase and a much more yeah, stable no, car? There's no question. Um, typically, if you have to use less throttle to achieve the same speed, then you're going to burn less fuel. So the car is making more power, so that, that'll be the case. You won't have to push it so, so hard to make the same. Same progress, so it will save fuel, no question. Thank you very much, Ross. Results show from the Audi A3. Before BG, we have 139 brake horse at 4,000 revs. 247 feet pounds of torque and a CO of 0.044%. CO2 is 4.9%. Hydrocarbons do not count in a diesel and these results are certainly taken at idle. O2 is 13.88, O2 is basically oxygen. NOx is a greenhouse gas and therefore is not environmentally friendly. This one is significantly reduced in the after BG treatment. The NOx, as you can see, is down to 31 parts per million. O2 has gone up, which again is the fresh air. Hydrocarbons, as I've said, do not count. CO2 has also reduced from 4.9 to 3.4%. The CO has dropped to a tenth of its original value. In addition to this, we have also increased the torque of the vehicle and a power gain. Your vehicle therefore has less impact on the environment. Please contact Powerflow Limited for any further information on any of the items seen on this video. Phone number 01284 777 934 Alternatively, email info at bgprod.co.uk. Please quote Trevor on any correspondence.